wrote this book. It's Eat, Drink, and Succeed. We already got the eating part down, right? <laughs> Laura no. Schwartz grew up here. In Plymouth, Wisconsin. She became the White House Director of Events, and now she shares her secrets to success as a professional public speaker and occasional bartender. <laughs> and today, we're going to find out what your drink may say about your personality. Everybody loves a good bartender. Hey, everybody yeah. does. And I have to say, my favorite cold remedy? Yeah. Martinis. Uh, Martinis. <laughs> you know it's like yeah. kills it. It just takes it out My of grandma you. always used to give me, if I had a cough, a little whiskey water. <laughs> grandma used to do that, Grandma, up That's there. A fun yeah, grandma. A little whiskey water with some honey, and it would yeah. stop the cough. Or in tea, same thing. Yep. 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 Or Jägermeister. <laughs> as long as it's or cold, that. right? But I digress. You know, it's funny. There's a martini on the cover of my book. Mm -hmm. And when I was a kid, a lot of kids, you know, have little tea parties with their dolls. Well, I would take my parents' little martini glasses. Stop it. And I'd put my Kool Aid in the martini <laughs> glasses, and I'd have like cocktails. <laughs> That's <laughs> so awesome. I think I was destined to do this, but Absolutely. I make a, a big point of the book. Whether your glass is filled with water, vodka, yeah. wine, or orange juice, when we drink together, when we mm -hmm. have a cocktail or have a coffee, it's our chance to eat, drink, and succeed, to share our struggles, look for solutions, and celebrate success. And, mm -hmm. and eat, drink, and succeed, it's all about that great partnership that comes out of those moments that you're not necessarily in a meeting, but you're around a table. So you really think all of those things combined really can help you get ahead in business and in life and in just relationships as well? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. It's about networking, but it's mm -hmm. networking in a positive, powerful way. Yeah, because mm -hmm. networking can feel a little like, a lot of people don't like that word. They feel uncomfortable with yeah. it. Hey, and Tiffany, the 80s, you, you, know? you hit it head on because mm -hmm. that's why it's not in the title of my book. Yeah. Uh, it's in the subtitle, the networking, your, you know, your way to the top with social events. But it's all about what I can do for you. Whereas we oftentimes meet people and they're networking with us mm -hmm. and they just want to see what they can get from you. Yeah, is it a cheap feeling. hotel? Is it a discount? Is it this? And then if they can't, boom, they're off to the next person. Mm -hmm. That's not networking. Social but climbing. But sharing this <laughs> is. Yeah, that's social climbing. That's yeah. not climbing away. <laughs> Boy, you're good, Tiffany. And, <laughs> and I just, it's really funny, the book just launched in Finland. I was yeah, like, exciting. I was so thrilled. Evento Magazine and their publishing unit over there in Finland, I came to speak and then they published it a few months later. That's and awesome. so in Finland, you drink a lot of vodka. And yes. I learned a lot about vodka and great martinis while I was there. And I even okay. judged a bartending competition okay. with awesome. Evento Magazine. So, so I thought I'd share learn? some of the tips with you. Please. Well, for a great martini, I always love a fabulous martini glass. Mm -hmm. Now, they don't always fit in my fridges. My fridge is full of too many other things to like chill and frost my glasses. Sure. So a great way to get around that is just fill your glass up with ice while you're making your martini. I've seen some bartenders mm -hmm. do that. Yep. And right. you just let that let that sit. We'll just do it. Okay. To two. So it just kind of hangs out. Absolutely. Uh -huh. And then you want to have the red ingredients. Okay. For me, this is like if it's a power lunch or after hours. I really love a good martini. Now, You'll I You'll do a martini at lunch? Well, if it's a, if it's if it's <laughs> one of those you, lunches, right. <laughs> yes, absolutely. But one martini lunch though, two okay. martini lunches, I'm not going back for right, anymore. Right. I work the rest of the day. But the nice thing is, when I was growing up, I drank Jack and Ginger. Well, growing up, I you should grew up in I should preface that I did grow up in Wisconsin, so yes, I was drinking a lot of that and a yeah. lot of Miller. But I have to say, I started with Cosmos yeah. because Sex in the City. Yes, mm -hmm. Cosmos were so much fun, and, and it was kind of easy, and they're, easy. Easy. And they're pretty. Yeah, the vodka went down a little easier. But then I really kind of turned away from the sweet and more to the citrus, like mm -hmm. uh, grapefruit and That's lime, little St. Germain liqueur. Mm -hmm. Some bartenders put simple syrup in their martinis, and that'll taste really good, but if I wanted sweet, I'd go with the soda. Okay. That's why we're doing the classic martini. So chill the yeah. glasses with some ice while that's going on in your shaker. You load that baby up with ice. <laughs> so where's the best place that you've had a martini? Is it in Finland? I have to say it was at the Savoy Hotel in Finland. It really is huh. sort of like what would be our sister. Yeah. It's right on the town promenade and it's it's got a lot of great rich history to it. And they've got the old fashioned martini glasses very similar to this. Yeah. Um, in Chicago I love the peninsula. Um, right yeah, here there's great. a fabulous place called Stir. Yes. In Milwaukee. Uh -huh. And so there's more and more hot, great martini places. Mm -hmm. And I yelped martini Milwaukee on my way here. <laughs> <laughs> and it's amazing. There were a couple of pizzerias that came up. I mean, so people are doing martinis well. Yeah. And they're fun to drink. I find, too, if I do a martini versus a cocktail, I sip it slower. It yes. lasts longer. It's yeah. true. Because I like to make the point known to everybody that reads the book and it's in the book. There's a fine line between yeah. cocktail talk and your cocktail talking. Good right. yeah, point. That is a very 
to walk that line. Yeah. Yeah. There's that line between cocktail talk and your cocktail talking. Cocktail yes. talking. We've all, so true. We've all been out Crossed with those guys. We've all had lunch with those um, girls. What kind of vodka did you use? I Sam? used right now, and I just sort of, you know, uh, don't really measure much myself. Okay. This so is a Belarus. Matter. This is um, a la morning blend. Okay. Um, but I also brought along <laughs> to show you my favorite vodka is from Russia. I like to say I smuggled it. I smuggled it out of St. Petersburg last year uh, on a boat. But it was actually just the duty free shot on the boat. Uh, very rarely can okay. you. You see, uh, this is Russian standard gold. There's a different Russian standard with a black label that you see, mm -hmm. like in a lot of airport lounges that are international because yeah. people are used to it. But it's more difficult to get. I love it, and the bottles are beautiful. And when you are in Russia, um, Estonia, the Balkan area, like Finland, you can get these bottles for yeah. like maybe thirty U.S. dollars. Oh, wow! That's nice. And then Molly and then, makes great martinis. She just always uses see, like wish, Tito's, you know, real oh, clean. Well, for domestic vodka, yeah. I love Tito's because it's organic. Yeah. It's from Austin. Tito himself is phenomenal. I actually have you an know auto Tito. Look I, at you. I have. I, I have an autograph bottle from Tito. <laughs> I have to say, I'm known Eat, for Eat, drink, him. and succeed. And succeed. Yeah, that's and right. do it with Tito, because he's okay. a really great man. So I put my vodka in here. Now, you can do it two ways. Okay. You can do a little dry vermouth in the shaker, or I'll show you what I do in a moment with mine. Okay. So again, we got our glasses chilling. We got our vodka. We're we going to chill. we a minute left. We're chilling that down. Okay. You're We're going to dump out the ice. Conversation. You we wipe it out mode. so that we don't have water in there. Good call. Because I like just a little bit of vermouth. So we that goes in Put first. some in. But then I just swoosh it around, dump oh. it out. That's how much little vermouth I do. Oh. And then we strain it in. Woman after my own heart. Ta da. Just a little taste of it. And now, when you add your olives, know this always an odd number. It's great to just put one <laughs> olive at the end of the stick and toss it in, or you can do three. Okay. But you never want to do a, 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 a double olive because in the mafia bars back in the days, the bartenders were instructed to just put three olives in or one olive and stir. If you put two olives in a mafia connected person, it, like it, it meant there was danger lurking at the bar. Good to so know. So they go with the odd numbers. And the Savoy in Finland, what they do so well, I always ask for extra olives sometimes. Because you and, love olives. Well, that and I make it a meal. And the Days I haven't had much okay. to eat, and they served it to me in a highball glass with ice, so it kept the olives chilled. So when I did transfer them over to my martini, oh. it didn't warm up the martini. So the drink this wasn't in amazing. here. This was just nope. to keep the olives cold. It was cold. just on the side to keep my olives chilled, okay. so that again, I hate. I like my hot food hot, my cold yeah. food cold. Same thing with my drinks. And when you add a lot of warm things into your vodka martini, and then it's now it's warming up this lovely chilled glass. All right, you so. want to taste that? I'm not a huge olive fan. Yeah, so. I'll okay. try it. I, I, like my, I like my martinis a little bit dirty, but this is uh, well, and still that's, right in my uh, That's always a good martini also. I want to make sure everybody's got your website oh, so they can good. get a copy of your book. Um, and this is where you can do it. It's at lauraschwartzlive.com. You can learn. I've read your entire book. I told you that. After Tiffany, you, you are just cover awesome. Cover. <laughs> it is the best book. You got to get it. You'll love it. It's a quick read, but you won't be able to put it Even down. Even if you so. only speak Finnish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you can get it in as well. <laughs> For all those Finnish viewers. <laughs> hey, I met Tiffany years ago, and just so everybody knows, Tiffany is as real and fabulous off screen as she is on. Thank and you. Honey. Holly, it's Darn great skippy. to meet you. Nice to meet you. I too. say cheers to I got an answer one, but I'll cheers, cheers on this. Cheers to right. oatmeal. There cheers we go. To cheers to oatmeal. Oh, also, we've got three recipes that you shared for great martinis. That's going to mm -hmm. be on our website, themorningblend.com and lauraschwartzlive.com. All right. Well